tonight from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Bay Buccaneers taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, the hope was that these Florida showers would have passed through by now, but it looks like we're in for a wet one tonight at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight? to make sure they have good ball security. That's paramount in a game like this. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Number two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Devin White on the tackle. It's a gain of two yards. And it's now here's Mahomes. A screen to Bell. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not that time for Watkins, but it'll be second down. Second and 10. From the shotgun, it's a gift to Bell. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. And it's third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Pushing foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull off, and not hit him. There's the penalty. His throw caught at about the five. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. The point after threw the raindrops up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Harrison Butker to kick off four Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. 
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try to... And oh, his first carry, he loses the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So a first quarter fumble in the rain, and this isn't supposed to let up. They've had flash flood war he's just west of here so they better get used to this and it's hard to do real early in the game because you're so amped up and you're trying to do so much you've got to get used to it though you've got to focus in on the ball make sure you're taking care of it that one cost them The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. At the 45-yard line. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 39. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And a first hookup with his own pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Give him 30 yards there. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Brady going to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Throwing again on second down. Brady into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Back to the ground, this time with Bell. And they'll get him down here at the 23. 
Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the pro ball tight end, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. That one complete to Hill. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. The intended target was Chris Godwin. That'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Brady now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Antonio Brown, 32 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's third down. It's third down. And in. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. 
On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. Offense. Are you... That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. From the gun, it's Brady. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A five-yard gain. But he made that catch knowing full well that at the end of it, he's going to catch a pretty good lick. I guess if there's anyone on this team that can absorb a pop, it's him. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. A jet sweep to start the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. He brings up second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. 15 yards to go. Throwing now is Mahomes. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. JPP cruising in for the sack that time. But well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations. Hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. What a solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being active. 
protectors back there making the defense think it's going to be a pass. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11 at the 39-yard line. On second and 11 now. Brady, left side here. That's complete to Godwin. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first and ten, here's Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. He gets it into the hands of Ronkowski, complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Seven yards there and a first down. Operating from the gun. Brady over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. Yeah, that'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Brady, that is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Antonio Brown. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bucs have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. They kick off for Tampa Bay. Takes it at the seven. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 23-yard line. The KC offense and Clyde Edwards-Alaire getting the ball back here. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right now. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey 26 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. And, oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. And here we go again with Tom Brady in Tampa's offense. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you're talking about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage, 
That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Brady. He's got his big tight end, Bronkowski. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Brings up second and to throw again on second down, Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Again, it's Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Brady again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Brady to throw again. A pass underneath for Fournette. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Brady now on first down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Chris Jones, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Throwing on second and long. Brady, and now a fumble. Brady loses the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taking it about the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. On first down, Brady to Evans on the slam. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. A shotgun give to Fournette. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up here in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. 
And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards that time. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That's complete, right around the eight. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. First down. First and goal. And now Jones. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And Brady's throw there incomplete. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he's able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. And all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They do get a yard there, but only only a yard, leaves him with third and nine looming. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Vita Vea breaking through to get the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Again, we see Tom Brady in the box set to take over. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, well, man, what do you need? What's going on here? So he's one one person he can lean on, he's going to have to lean on that guy right now. Throwing on first down is Brady, and this will be incomplete. Great physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. To throw again, Brady, and now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. Pass the 20, and they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. So the turnover forced, and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's going to go down. 
touchdown sack back at the 13-yard line. And Dominican Sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. Third down and goal. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard Back line. now comes Tampa Bay. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all. And now look at him go. He's at the 30. 10, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones, 72 yards. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it, and look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them, a big time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little more rest over here. 25-yard <laughs> line. KC's offense ready to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tackle and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Now a first down carry by Bell. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Taken down. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. That one complete to Hill. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 22-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Shotgun snap to the holes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. This is caught. Watkins. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. His pass caught at the four. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. 
Touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Brady now on first down. Dumps it off to Fournette. Accelerating and off he goes. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette, 75 yards. And the Bucks have taken the lead here in the fourth. On for the point after. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. The escape ability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. And the first down, the Chiefs. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. First down, Kansas City. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Mahomes going to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. Mahomes to throw once more. And it's caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. Harrison Butker on for the I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. 31. Harrison Butker to kick it Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. 
taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And this offense trotting back onto the field. Let's turn our attention here to Ronald Jones. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. Back to Brown, this time complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. 42 yards. On first and 10, here's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Another Buccaneers first down. First and 10 at the 18 yard from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breeland. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. The drive will begin with a run by Edward Jolaire. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second and 11 at the 12-yard line. This is Bell. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 11. Throwing now is Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 30-yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Bell. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. On the carry. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. down the punt team is on as this is sent away and a fair catch call for and made just inside the 35 yard line 33 yards is the distance on the punt there and the offense will take over with a new set of downs so here's Brady in the box down 34 31 209 to play they'll have one play maybe two before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down 
Now this pass brought in by Brown. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. Brings up second and nine at the 35-yard line. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a dump off here complete. It'll be a gain of six. And just like that, it's third down. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Brady on target to Gronk. First down, Buccaneers. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it's second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Antonio Brown, 51 yards. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Back to throw. Mahomes flushed out right. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. Back to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try to make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Open man is Hill, he's got it. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Chiefs now gonna use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Mahomes to throw. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. At the Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Mahomes. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. Right 
So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.